Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be looking at a really nice problem from Amy. I'll talk about Amy but we have A plus BI to the third power equals C plus 107i. A, B, C are positive integers and we're going to be solving for A, B, and C. Now this problem is from Amy 1985 American Invitational Mathematics Examination. That's a mouthful, isn't it? That's an exam that's taken by roughly 3,000 students in the United States to qualify for Amy because it's an invitational test. Not everyone can take it. You have to qualify for it. You have to pass AMC 10 or AMC 12. And the scores and benchmarks, they, you know, kind of cutoff scores differ every year, but you can call, go ahead and look it up. Amy problems are pretty hard. You are given 15 problems in three hours. Can you imagine sitting down for three hours for 15 problems? That makes 12 minutes per problem. The problems get harder and barely, uh, you can barely finish the test, even if you're really good at it. Anyways, so let's go ahead and solve this problem. But first of all, before I start solving it, I want to show you what Wolfram Alpha gave me when I entered this equation. I didn't say A, B, C are integers, so I wanted to see what from alpha is supposed to offer, and I don't really like these. Do you like them? Because A, B, C, look at that. Are they integers? Probably not, right? So, let's go ahead and see how we can solve it. Again, A, B, C are positive integers, and we have A plus B, I to the third power. How nice, A plus B, I. Does that sound familiar? It's the name of the channel, right? And we're going to be solving for ABC. First thing I want you to notice is 107. What is it? It is a prime number, right? Or does that matter? Yes, it's going to make a big deal or it's going to matter a lot. Uh, you'll see. Now we have a complex number cubed equals another complex number. So can I cube root both sides? Well, I thought about it. Like if I cube root both sides, one of the problems with that is a complex number has three cube roots. So this is a complex number, but I don't know what C is. Think about it. Even if you knew what C is, and this is a multiple choice test, by the way, but they don't give you the choice. It's like choices, there are 1,000 choices because the answer must be an integer 0, 0, 0 through 999. Nine, nine. Make sense? Yeah. That's kind of like a crazy test. Guessing is... Get guessing, uh, finding the answer by guessing is extremely difficult. Anyways, so cube rooting this expression would be not possible. And even if you were trying to cube root it, you would probably set it equal to something. So anyways, we're trying to cube root this number. But interestingly, ABC satisfy this equation. And we the only number we know is 107. Anyways, I talk too much. Let's get to work. If you go ahead and expand, by the way, the original problem wasn't given like this, but I kind of modified a little bit. I think C was on the left hand side, but you know, it's easy. You just add C to both sides. So let's go ahead and do this cube left hand side. We have to expand it. And when you expand it, you kind of have to think about it this way. It's going to be A cubed minus 3AB squared. That's going to be the real part. And then the imaginary part is going to be 3A squared B minus B cubed. It's kind of like A minus B cubed with a little you know, variation, uh, you have to multiply the imaginary part by i, right? And this is equal to c plus 107i. Did I say 107 is prime? I think I did. Now take a look. This is supposed to equal c, and this is supposed to equal 107. Nice. Because a and b are positive integers, this single equation is a Diophantine equation, and it should give us the solutions, right? That's what's really powerful about these because if you think about A, B, C being real, there are infinitely many solutions, aren't there? So, let's go ahead and start with this. 3A squared B minus B cubed equals 107. Again, remember 107 is prime. Factor out B, 3A squared minus B squared equals 107. Since 107 is prime, we have limited options. B can be 1 or 107, right? Because a prime number has two factors. And when I say factors, I'm talking about positive factors. I'm not considering negative 1 and negative 107, okay? So, because A, B, C are positive anyways. So, let's look at each case. If 
B is 107, so that's a larger number, let's start with that. Then we get 3A squared minus B squared equals 1, because 107 times 1, think about it, is 107. But we already know B, so let's go ahead and plug it in, 3A squared minus 107 squared equals 1, and 3A squared. Now, 107 squared is going to be 11,449. If you add that to 1, you're going to get 11,450. Well, guess what? 1 plus 1 plus 4 is 6, which is divisible by 3, but 5 just messes it up. In other words, this is not equal to 3K, where K is an integer. So, this number is not divisible by 3, therefore, this is not going to work. So, B equals 107 doesn't give us any solutions. So, we have to check, in other words, B does not equal 107. If B is 1, then we get 3A squared minus B squared is 107. We do know that B is equal to 1, so we're going to replace B with 1, and that's going to give us 3A squared is equal to 108. Squaring 1 is pretty easy, right, compared to 107. And then from here, a squared becomes 36. Since a is positive, a equals 6 is a solution. And of course, b equals 1 is part of the solution. What about c? How do you find c? c is, let's go back and look at our equation again. Yes, this is what c is, a cubed minus 3ab squared. c is a cubed minus 3ab squared. So c is going to be 6 cubed, which is 216, minus 3 times a which is 6 times b squared, which is 1. 216 minus 18 is 200 minus 2. Think about it, 198. And that will be the value of c. So from here, we basically got the value of c as 198. So we ended up finding all the values a, b, and c. Since one of the values didn't work, b equals 107, we're only getting a single solution and let's go ahead and write it as an ordered triple don't you love that word and that's going to be 6 comma 1 comma 198 and let's briefly talk about what this means real quick and hopefully that'll help you understand this scenario so this basically means that if you take 6 plus i and cube it you're going to end up with 198 plus 107i and you can definitely test it out with just by cubing, right? <laughs> with whatever, I don't know. But yes, this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. By the way, go ahead and check out with Wolfram Alpha. See if you can find the integer solution. Maybe you have to prompt it that way. Again, this brings us to the end. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time. Be safe, take care, and bye-bye.